Welcome to the guitar lesson for the guitar solo that Adrien Moyart did on the uh, version of Caravan by Cyril Aimé. And we start off on the two bars before the solo and the musical notation is linked in the description. No tabs though. So that part. And the thing you play over that is this chord C, B flat, and A flat. Play it four times, and then move that A flat down to a G flat. Play it twice, and then up again. Two times, and then move down to the E. Up to the G flat, down again, and up. And as for the rhythm, it's best if you just listen to the song. Or if you look at the notation. And then, so that's start off on the C, D flat, hammer on and pull off, triplet. And then down. B flat. A flat. G A flat. Down to the C. And then pull off to the G. A. Back to the G. And then down to the D. And then back again to the E. And then slide down to the G flat. G, A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, and the E harmonic on 12th fret. So that's starting off on the C, back to the C, down the scale, F, E, D flat, C, B flat, a flat, G, F, E, C, and then start starting off on the E flat, and then pull off chromatic. Starting off on the same fret, but on the B string. And then the same scale. As before. And then... Do one of these, so D flat. C major 7 arpeggio uh, No, uh, the C 7 arpeggio So the high C And down to the 7, so it'd be flat Another arpeggio on the G flat. So same shape, different strings and different frets. And down to the C. A 
B-flat. Move we'll up to the B-flat. Down to G. The A-flat again. And now we have a major arpeggio. Major 7 arpeggio. No, we don't. Well, sort of. But instead of going, we go to the B flat and then. So, starting off on B, come down the scale. C minor arpeggio this time. C, E flat, G, and then high C. G, A flat, G, F, E flat. And that's the first of three sections. And now we arrive at the that part. That. So start off on the F sharp, slide into the G, hit the B, back to the G, E flat, D, C. on and pull up on the G, down to the E, same thing but starting off on the E flat, so this is an interesting bit, we start off on the D flat, F, D and E flat down to the B, D, the C, B flat, A, G, E, or E flat, F back to the E flat. E flat, D, F, and then down to the B flat. D flat, down chromatically. down to the F. E flat, D flat, A, A flat, G flat, F, E flat, ending up on the D, and then to one of those. D, C, A flat, B flat. And then up to the D on the E string. D, D flat, D, F, B flat. B flat, C, slide up to the D.
and then the same thing an octave up. Starting off on that B flat. And end up on the high F. No, actually, sorry. Uh, don't hit that F. Instead, we hit that B flat. Immediately. And then down to the F, D flat, E, and B flat. Down to the F, F, D flat, C, B flat. And then the same thing one octave down. But uh, yeah. And then the same thing, but um, in the recording. Adrien plays, uh, actually slides all the way up to the to the B, not the B flat, but that might be a mistake, and you should play whatever sounds best. But instead of going down there, the second you do, you move chromatically down to the A flat, so. Major 9, major add 9, arpeggio, so E flat, B flat, slide up to the C, E flat, A flat, B flat, so the same thing. But instead of going like that, to the C, you only go as far as the B, and then hit an E flat. So, and then So, after that, starting off on the A flat, B, B flat, slide down to the G flat, no, the, the G, F, E flat, B flat. No, uh, B, B flat, A flat, moving down the scale, G, F, E, D, C, B, D, B, C. So that's the first two parts. Um, and now we're back at. And here he plays. I think like that. So that's C, F, G flat, D. And then the same shape beginning on the 11th fret. Down again, and then up. Same shape, different strings, beginning on 10th fret on the A string, and then once again. Same shape, but on the D string, uh, and the 11th fret. And then you actually continue 
that shape as you go. So that's moving down one minor third, up one minor third, up another minor third, and then back, and then play the last without that ending uh, G flat. And then for the last few notes, that's just chromatic down from the D flat. And end on the D flat. And uh, yeah, uh, and then C, B flat, A flat, E, E flat, D flat, C, B flat, back again to the D flat. Triplets on the D flat, E, G, B. Triplets on the B flat and the A flat. Triplets on the A flat and the G. And well, beginning the beginnings of one of those triplets. But instead of going back to the G, you just go G, F, pause for the first eighth note triplet of the last two uh, pairings of triplets. So that's C, B flat, A flat, F, E flat, C. And that's it for that solo. Uh, as for the picking, it's really up to you. I don't know what positions he uses. I'm not entirely sure how his picking is. I think he's less strict than some of the older Manush type guitar players are. Um, when it comes to every new string should begin with a downstroke. For example, uh, that I think it just does alternate picking. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Instead of down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. But yeah, it's up to you. Uh, if you have any questions though, Feel free to leave them in the comments. Good luck and I'll see you next time. Bye.